Hi, I'm Mike with B2 Lighting Effects. Hey, I'll tell you, let me get through the spaghetti here. You know, if you've ever had a setup like this, you know exactly what I'm talking about when it comes to all these wires to wire up your lights. I've got a solution for you. We're going to get rid of all these wires. I'm going to show you how right now. Having to deal with all those extension cords and power cords has got to be crazy, especially if you're doing DJ work, karaoke work, or if you have a band. I have a way to get rid of all those power cords and all those extension cords and at the same time making setup and teardown much easier. First of all, we're going to get rid of all those power cords and extension cords on your tripod with this little unit right here. It's called a relay. So let's go right over to the tripod and plug this in. Well, the first thing I think we should do is unplug this mess and we'll take the spaghetti here and take these out. <laughs> this is a mess. Okay, now we have no mess. There it is. Done deal. Problem is we don't have any lights. Here's how we're going to fix that. We're going to take our relay. We're going to attach this right here on the back side with the clamps that I include. Okay, now our relay is on our tripod. And if you notice, I put it on the back of the tripod so it's out of everyone's way. Now we take our spaghetti, we're going to plug all these cords right into the relay. And number eight. That was pretty quick, wasn't it? Now, we're going to take all the spaghetti, we're going to just simply put it all together. And if you take your time, you can make this look real neat. All you need to do is get some of these zip ties. These things I live by. I use these zip ties like crazy. And zip tie these together. Like so. Now we're going to bring this up here, and we're going to just zip tie this right over here. Okay. Now, of course, if I had more time, I'd go ahead and make that all nice and neat and everything else. So now, we turn it around. We now only have one power cable coming down your tripod, and now we're going to put a signal cable into the relay system. Here's our signal cable and it comes with the entire system. This is 25 feet long. By the way, you can get 25 foot or 50 foot of the uh, signal cables too. This simply plugs right into the back of your relay, just like you would a computer cable. Screw it in and bring that in back. And then you only have two cables coming down your tripod, which you can hide with some uh, gaffer's tape or something like that so it's completely out of the way. These other cables that you see here, like I say, take your time, you can strap them all on the T-bar. Now, let's see how this works with the controller. Well, I'm going to take the signal cable, I'm going to bring this over to the controller. Okay, here's our signal cable that goes to the tripod, and here's our controller. On the back of the controller, we have our outpack, our outpack. Our output right here for the signal cable put it in again just like a computer cable here's the power cable to plug in the controller and turn this on and the lights are ready for your control and here's how it works the controller has eight separate buttons on it and these respond to the outlets that are on the relay that you've now put onto your tripod when you push them in the down position that turns that particular light on when you turn them off, that light goes off. If you want just momentary, you have momentary switches here. When you push it on, that light responding to that outlet on the relay is going on. Now, let's say you're a disc jockey, or you have a band, or you're working in a, uh, a dance club or something like that, and you don't have time to be turning these on and off. Very simple. All you do is put each button in the up position, and now, these lights are going to cycle through on, off, on, off. You'll have two to three to four lights on, and then those will go off, and then the other ones will go on, and so on and so forth. Right now I have it set on automatic or auto. Now what you can do is flip that down the sound, flip this one down the sound. If you notice, there's actually two separate banks here. Now all your lights are going to go, the sound, the microphone is in here, is going to go sound active and they're going to go on and off all by themselves. Another huge feature on this. Let me show this to you. On the back side of the control unit, you have an outlet to operate a strobe light, and on the front side, you have a strobe button 
right there. When you press this, your strobe light's going to go on. It has to be equipped with a mono cable input. This is the mono cable output, and all you need is an additional mono cable that takes care of it. I have those too. A little plug for the mono cable. Then you also have an outlet to operate a fog machine. This is great. You plug your fog machine into any one of the channels on your relay, then you take a fog cable, another push for another cable here, plug your, your uh, fog cable into here, that also plugs in the back of your relay system, and now you have a fog button to operate your fog machine. So you can operate your strobes, you can operate your fog machine, you can operate up to eight lights with this one unit and eliminate all those extension cables. The ET Pro 8 completely eliminates the hassle with all those power cords and extension cords. You got two cords hanging down there. That's all you have. Now I want you to keep in mind too, you can use this not just for power cans. You can use this for all your LED dance lights, your halogen dance lights. And like I say, you can go up to a 600 watt dance light as long as they're not all 600 watts. If you have one one of those centerpiece attractions with 600 watts, that's fine. Otherwise, you can operate all your dance lights with one of these control systems and for the price you just can't beat it. Next thing, easy teardown, I promise. All you do is unplug your signal cable, we unplug the power cable that goes to the relay, undo the top of the tripod, your T-section, you just pop that off and you simply lay that down in the back of your pickup truck or your car very carefully so you don't ruin your lights, fold up the tripod, you're off and running. When you get back to your next set, Put up your tripod, this is already wired and ready to go, you're ready, you're ready to go.